Today, I wanted to give us a reminder in this week's installment of Wednesday Encouragement. The reminder that I'm referring to is love. That may sound a little generic or a little cliche or a little simplistic on this day, but trust me, it's not. There is a portion of scripture that gets mentioned in a lot of weddings, and I want to read that to us today. It's found in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. In verses 4 to 8, it says, Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Bottom line, love is hard when this portion of scripture gets read at weddings. Generally, the bride and groom are looking at each other all googly-eyed and everybody is ooing and aahing and just excited for that couple. Love is way more than a ceremony or the feelings of that day. Just talk to a couple after the wife forgets to break down the box and just shoves it in the garbage for the 15th time. Or the husband leaves his underwear in front of the hamper for the 900th time. Bottom line, love is a choice. We have to choose to be patient. We have to choose to be kind. We have to choose to not be self-seeking or be angry. We have to choose to always trust one another. I love this story that was on the news recently about a couple who lived across from one another, families that lived across from one another that had completely opposing views on who to vote in as president. But despite having opposing views, they choose to love their neighbor. I'm one of five boys and oftentimes we have very opposing views from one another, but we always come back to one simple thing, choosing to love one another. It's difficult. Some days it's extremely difficult and some days it will be more difficult than others to choose love. And some people will be harder to love than others. We will most likely need God's help with this. So let him help you. Let him help you love one another. Choose love today. Go in peace.